In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to find the interquartile range as well as the presence of any outliers. But let's take some notes first. So let's say we have a number line. On the left side, this is going to be the minimum value. And on the right side, the maximum value of the data. Now the median of the data is the second quartile. This is basically the 50th percentile. The minimum will be at the 0 percentile, and the maximum is basically the 100th percentile. Now, Q1 is going to be the median of the lower half of the data. And Q3 is the median of the upper half of the data. And so that's how you could find the three quartiles. The interquartile range represents the middle 50% of the data. IQR is the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile. And so that's how you find it. By the way, Q1 represents the 25th percentile, and Q3 represents the 75th percentile. Now let's talk about the outliers. Sometimes you may have a data point that is either all the way to the right, that's very high, or to the left, that is very, very low. Now, here's what you need to do in order to find if a number is an outlier. The outliers will exist outside of this range. It's going to be outside of Q1 minus 1.5 times the IQR value to Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR value. So if you have a number that's in the list and it's not in this range, it's outside of it, then that number is considered to be an outlier. And we're going to do some examples so that you can see how this process works, like how we can go about determining if a number is an outlier or not. So let's say if we have the numbers 5, 8, 15, 26, 10, 18, 3, 12, 6, 14, and 11. So let's go ahead and find the IQR value, and let's see if there's any outliers in this list. So what's our first step? What's the first thing that we need to do here? The first thing you want to do is you want to rewrite this and arrange the numbers in ascendant order. So 3 is the lowest number. Next, we have 5, and then 6, and then after that is 8, 10, 11, and then it's 12, 14, 15, 18, and then 26. Now, the next thing you want to do is identify the median of the entire data set. So the median is basically the middle number. If we eliminate the first two numbers on both sides and then follow that process until we get one number in the middle. So this is the median. So 11 is the second quartile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line here and I'm going to put 11 below that line. So this is Q2. Our next step is to identify the median of the lower half of the data. So the middle number of these five numbers is 6. So let's put a line. And so 6 is going to be Q1, the first quartile. Now let's do the same thing on the right side. Let's identify the median in this area. So the middle number is 15. So 15 is the third quartile. When you think of the word quartile, I think of quarters. Four quarters equal a dollar. And so the quartiles, they divide the data into four equal parts, as you can see here. 
Now at this point, we can calculate the IQR, the interquartile range. It's the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile. And so we can see that the third quartile is 15, and the first quartile is 6. So 15 minus 6 gives us 9. And that's how you can calculate the interquartile range. Now our next step is to determine if we have any outliers. So looking at the numbers in this list, do any one of these numbers stand out? Is there a number that appears not to belong to the rest of the pack? Now to me, 26 seems to be a little far out from all the other numbers. So is 26 an outlier? Let's find out. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug our data into this interval, Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR, and then Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR value. So Q1 is 6, and the interquartile range is 9. Q3 is 15, and then it's going to be plus 1.5 times 9. 1.5 times 9, that's 13.5. So 6 minus 13.5 is negative 7.5. And then 15 plus 1.5 times 9, that's going to give us 28.5. Now, an outlier will be any number in this list of numbers that is not in this range or that is outside of that range. So is 26 outside of this range? 26 is in this range. So therefore, 26 is not an outlier. Now, let's say if this was 29, then it would be an outlier. Let's try another example. So let's say we have the numbers 11, 31, 21, 19, 8, 54, 35, 26, 23, 13, 29, and 17. Go ahead and pause the video and try this example for yourself. Calculate the interquartile range and determine if we have any outliers in our data set. So let's begin by writing the numbers in increasing order. So we have 8, 11, and 13. So after 13 we have 17, 19, and 21. And then after that, we have 23, 26, and 29. And then the last three numbers are 31, 35, and 54. So we have a total of 12 numbers. Our first step is to calculate Q2, the second quartile, thus splitting the data into two equal parts. So if we eliminate the first two numbers on both sides and then follow the pattern, notice that we have two numbers in the middle. So to calculate the second quartile, we need to take an average of those two numbers. So we can add them up and then divide by 2. 21 plus 23 is 44. 44 divided by 2 is 22. So this is the second quartile. Now we have six numbers on the left and six numbers on the right. So now we need to find the first quartile. So what is the median of these six numbers? If we eliminate these two and then those two, we have two numbers in the middle. So we need to average those two numbers. That was weird. So we're going to split the lower half of the data into two equal parts, where we have three numbers on the left, three numbers on the right. 
So the average of 13 and 17 is going to be the middle number between those two, which is 15. So 15 is the first quartile. Now to find Q3, we need to split the upper half of the data into two equal parts. In this case, two parts of threes. So the average of 29 and 31 is 30. So 30 is going to be the third quartile, our Q3 value. Now once you have Q1 and Q3, you can now calculate the interquartile range. So it's going to be 30 minus 15, which is 15. And so this is our IQR value. Now let's focus on any outliers. 54 seems to be a very high number. Could this be a potential outlier? Let's find out. So first, let's write this expression. Q1 minus 1.5 times the IQR value and then Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR value. So Q1 is 15, and the IQR value is also 15. Q3 is 30. One point five times 15 is 22.5. And so if you take 15 and subtract it by 22.5, that will give you negative 7.5. Now 30 plus 22.5, that will give you 52.5. Now notice that 54 is outside of this range. Because it's outside of this range, 54 is an outlier. So I'm going to put a check next to it. And so now you know how to determine if a data point rep represents an outlier in the data set. And you also know how to calculate the interquartile range. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.